trust these astronauts to report back what they see. They're essentially scientists that are exploring space on our behalf. But a lot of people are unaware of the fact that many of our astronauts have spoken openly about UFOs. Picture of some unidentified object in space. Once people saw that picture, they were convinced that it was an alien spacecraft. This really was something anomalous because when you think about satellites, Normally, you think maybe about something spherical or about something obviously manufactured. But this is all sorts of odd angles and curved edges. Suddenly, a massive, mysterious structure appeared right next to the International Space Station, like something straight out of a sci-fi thriller. This station, floating high above Earth, isn't just a lab for science. It's a place where astronauts from different countries come together. Their photos show Earth as a fragile, beautiful place that we all need to protect. But now this unknown object throws everything into question. What is this thing and what does it want with us? Let's uncover the secrets of this shocking new visitor in space. The Stargate near the ISS. The International Space Station is a quiet observer in space and an incredible place for scientific research. It also promotes global teamwork, showing how people from different countries can work together. Astronauts from many nations share their skills and knowledge to reach common scientific goals. This teamwork highlights the importance of unity in solving global problems and learning more about the universe. Photos taken from the ISS do more than just show Earth's beauty. They remind us how fragile our planet is. These images make us appreciate our home and inspire us to protect our environment. They give us a new view of our place in the universe and show how everything on our blue planet is connected. In a stunning image, we see Thomas Pesquet, a flight engineer from the European Space Agency inside the International Space Station during Expedition 65. He's in the cupola module known as the window to the world. This part of the station offers a breathtaking 360 degree view of outer space. When this photo was taken, the station was orbiting 263 miles above the Atlantic Ocean, between South America and Africa. From this special window, astronauts like Pesquet can see amazing views of Earth and space. The cupola acts as a giant window showing our planet's weather, landscapes, and vast oceans below. Astronauts can watch storms form, deserts spread out, and the deep blue of the oceans. But there's more to the cupola than its view. It's a key part of the space station that helps astronauts do their jobs. They use it to take photos and videos of Earth, which scientists study back home to learn more about our environment. The cupola also helps astronauts operate the space station's robotic arms and dock spacecraft. Floating between Earth and the stars, it offers not only scientific benefits, but also a strong connection between humans and the cosmos. The view from here is not only scientifically valuable, but also deeply moving, showing the beauty of our planet in the vastness of space. Then one day, a large round shape was seen floating in the sky just above Earth. This unusual sight caught everyone's attention. It seemed to hang still in the sky, sparking curiosity and many discussions among experts and the public. Everyone started to wonder where it came from and what it was. But this wasn't the most surprising part. Many ideas came up to explain this strange occurrence. Scientists and researchers worked hard to figure it out. What could that odd thing in the sky be? Some thought it might be a trick of light, a visual illusion caused by the sun and clouds. Others suggested it was a rare but natural event in the atmosphere. A few even believed it might be a man-made object, maybe an unidentified flying object. But this wasn't the most confusing part. The event led to many investigations. Experts and hobbyists alike tried to find out the truth behind this unusual sighting. Each theory came with its own arguments and evidence, making the debate even more interesting. People worldwide were talking about the floating circle, trying to understand its significance. In the photograph, one idea was that the object did not look like any known celestial bodies usually seen from Earth. This made the usual natural explanations doubtful. The object, which seemed to float in space, grabbed the attention of scientists, space enthusiasts, and the general public. Its unique look and size, along with the lack of familiar features, sparked curiosity and led to many discussions. Up next, a strange find catches our eye. The mystery of the unknown circular object. People noted its strange shape and the lack of recognizable markers. 
making it hard to compare to any known space object. This led to many debates and questions. People tried to figure out its origin and what it could be. Could it be space junk, a new asteroid, or something completely unknown? The lack of clear answers only made it more intriguing. As each idea seemed possible, yet this wasn't the strangest part. The discussion spread beyond scientific circles, becoming a popular topic for anyone interested in the vast and mysterious universe. This puzzling object in the photograph posed more questions than answers, pushing us to explore the unknown areas beyond our planet. A photo taken by flight engineer Thomas Pesky showed a large unknown circular object, starting many conversations about what it could be. A common thought was that this object was man-made, possibly a satellite, a piece of a spacecraft, or just space debris orbiting Earth. With many satellites and leftover space equipment spinning around our planet, it seemed likely that this object was another piece of human technology. It might be a fragment of an old satellite or remains from a past space mission. Ending one mystery about space, we start another with a discovery that changes everything. But figuring out what this object truly is proves difficult without more details. The photo alone doesn't give enough evidence to say for sure what the object is. This situation shows how challenging it can be to understand the data we collect from space. Observing space from the International Space Station gives us a unique view, but also comes with its own set of challenges and complexities. And this is not the only hard part. As we keep exploring and observing space, we are likely to find more unexplainable phenomena. These encounters make us ask more questions and dive deeper into the unknowns of space. A space station captured images of a strange object in the sky, showing the need for thorough scientific investigation and careful analysis. People quickly started guessing what the object could be. Some thought it might be an ancient artifact left by an advanced alien civilization, possibly acting as a gateway to distant galaxies. Others believed it could be a piece of ancient technology, but this isn't the end of the story. As we continue to explore, we might find answers or even more mysteries that make us rethink what we know about space. Highly advanced technology, way beyond what we currently know in space travel, has started big debates among scientists and sparked new interest in finding alien life and traveling between stars. Experts from many fields have come together to see if these ideas hold water. They are looking closely at the object, comparing it to known artifacts and technologies, and thinking about what this discovery could mean. The object didn't just catch the interest of scientists, it also grabbed the public's imagination. People everywhere were eager for updates, wanting to know more about this strange object. The talk spread from scientific circles to public forums, blogs, and news articles, where everyone shared their own ideas and explanations. But the most surprising part was yet to come. As scientists dug deeper, they used the latest imaging and spectroscopy technologies to study the object's makeup and origins. This careful approach slowly removed the uncertainties, giving a clearer picture of what the object might be. Each new finding was discussed at conferences and published in scientific papers, making the global conversation about our place in the universe even more exciting. Over time, people watching the skies have noticed strange flying objects in live camera feeds from the International Space Station. Astronauts have taken pictures of these odd objects, which have been acknowledged by space organizations around the world, showing that there are still many mysteries in space we don't understand. Now a bright object stirs more curiosity, the enigmatic visitor in Earth's atmosphere. One specific event caught everyone's attention during a regular live broadcast from the space station. Viewers and experts were fascinated by a round object with bright lights moving through the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere. Like many other incidents, this one was watched by people all over the world, adding to the growing number of unexplained events beyond our planet. These incidents have sparked a lot of interest and debate among both professional and amateur space watchers. The constant observation of these objects challenges what we know about space. But this wasn't the most shocking part. As these sightings continue, they encourage us to keep looking up and questioning what we know, pushing the limits of our knowledge about the universe. As the object appeared against the curve of the Earth, it moved quickly and smoothly, almost like it was ignoring the rules of flight. Astronauts on the space station and many viewers watching live from mission control centers around the world were fascinated by this unexpected sight 
and quickly began to record and study the event. High-definition videos of this unidentified flying object were shared widely among international space agencies and scientists, leading to a wave of excited analysis. Experts looked closely at the images and were amazed by the object's sudden changes in direction and speed, its ability to stay perfectly still in space for long periods, and its sudden disappearance into the vastness of space. These actions didn't match those of typical space debris or satellites, hinting at something beyond our current understanding of aerospace technology. This unusual activity didn't just catch the attention of seasoned astronomers, it also sparked interest among amateur stargazers and the general public. People were intrigued by the strange behaviors against the starry backdrop, the possibilities of advanced propulsion technologies or even alien origins became hot topics of discussion on various platforms, from academic journals to online forums. As the investigation went on, scientists gathered data from various space instruments. Everyone in the scientific community was on edge, waiting for any new information that could help solve the mystery of this strange space visitor. The sighting became a big moment in space observation, reminding us how much we still don't know and why our quest for knowledge in space is so important. Just when we thought we had everything figured out, something new surprised us. This sighting sparked fresh interest in space research, making more people look up at the night sky, wondering what other wonders are out there. It showed why it's so important to keep exploring and how limitless the possibilities in space really are. These objects moved in ways that humans can't match right now suggesting they might come from civilizations far more advanced than ours. This brings up the exciting idea of possibly communicating with beings from other planets. Maybe one day, we might even meet or talk with them, but it's more than just about science. Seeing unidentified flying objects from the International Space Station makes us question our place in the universe and what else might be out there. These objects fly in ways our best technology can't compete with. Are they using methods we haven't discovered yet? Could they have knowledge that we don't? This makes us think not only about other intelligent beings, but also how we might interact with them in the future. Could we communicate or visit them? This idea is exciting and changes how we understand life and technology. Watching these objects from space isn't just about technology. It's a deeply emotional experience that changes how we see ourselves in the universe. It makes us ask big questions. Are we alone? Are they watching us? Or could we join others in space someday? But this isn't the most surprising part. These questions touch on our biggest curiosities and fears about what lies beyond our world. Next, we explore what it means to not be alone, the potential risk of cosmic companions. The idea that we might not be alone in the universe is both exciting and a little scary. What would it mean if we found out we're not the only intelligent beings? This thought makes us rethink everything we know about life in our place in the universe. Imagine the possibilities of learning from civilizations that have been around much longer than ours. Communicating with these beings or visiting them could open up a whole new world of dreams and ideas. We might learn new sciences, technologies, and even ways to improve our lives. But here's another twist. What if these beings already know about us and are watching from afar? This adds another layer to our quest for knowledge and understanding. Exploring the vast darkness of space makes us rethink our place in the universe. It makes us wonder if humans are the only intelligent beings out there. These moments make us think about how big the universe is, what kinds of life might exist beyond Earth, and what these discoveries could mean for us. People have always been curious about unidentified flying objects. Even astronauts have shared amazing stories about their encounters. A famous astronaut, Edgar Mitchell, the sixth person to walk on the moon, played a key role in the Apollo 14 mission, which was special because it was the first to focus on scientific studies on the lunar surface. Mitchell and his team spent nine incredible hours exploring the Fra Mauro Highlands on the moon. Edgar Mitchell, famous for his achievements in space, brought back much more than just moon rocks. His return to Earth began a deep change in how we think about life beyond our planet. This new way of thinking included not just scientific ideas, but also deep thoughts about what our space travels could mean. Mitchell's ideas didn't just make people curious. They made us rethink our place in the universe. His thoughts on extraterrestrial life fascinated people all over the world, especially because he had a unique view from the exciting time of the space race, 
His experiences as an astronaut influenced his interest in UFOs and life outside Earth. He didn't stop at just wondering about these things. Mitchell worked hard on scientific studies to back up his theories with real evidence. His endless search for knowledge and willingness to think differently made him an important figure in both science and UFO research. Mitchell was known for questioning common beliefs and looking into ignored ideas. His journey into this field started in 1948 when he joined the military, leading him to amazing discoveries that pushed the limits of what we know on Earth and in space. His theories and findings, although often controversial, sparked wider debates about our understanding of the universe and encouraged many to think about the vast, unexplored potentials that exist. His work showed his dedication and continues to inspire discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial life, sparking interest among scientists, academics, and space enthusiasts alike. His story as an astronaut brings fresh insights into the cosmos, leading to ongoing conversations that explore new ideas about life in the universe. Edgar Mitchell was not only a skilled pilot trained by the U.S. Navy, his excellent flying skills and commitment got NASA's attention, and in 1966, he started his astronaut training. After retiring from active duty, Mitchell talked openly about strange events happening beyond our world, including personal experiences during the Apollo 14 mission. While this mission was crucial, the strange events during it went mostly unnoticed as the astronauts did their scientific work. These baffling incidents shocked the world. Moving on, a special mission reveals new mysteries. Mitchell's Supernatural Mission During this mission, Mitchell believed he encountered a supernatural force, a key moment in his career that deepened his interest in unexplained phenomena. His story, filled with unexplainable events, kept people intrigued, always stirring their curiosity about the endless possibilities of space. Mitchell's interest in the mysteries of the human mind grew even more after his time in space. While orbiting Earth on Apollo 14, he didn't just do his astronaut job, he also explored psychic abilities like telepathy. In the vastness of space, he felt a deep change inside him, something that shaped the rest of his life. Back on Earth, Mitchell kept studying these strange phenomena. He claimed to have communicated telepathically with psychics during his mission. This drove him to keep exploring, and he set up the Institute of Noetic Sciences to study the power of human consciousness. Mitchell's curiosity didn't end there. He also believed in UFOs. In a 1996 interview, he said he had proof of UFO encounters and criticized the U.S. government for hiding information about them. His statements stirred up debates about aliens and government secrecy. Even though some were skeptical, Mitchell was sure these encounters were real and needed serious investigation. His strong beliefs and public statements sparked discussions about extraterrestrials and government transparency. His work made people question conventional science and consider that there might be more to the universe than we think. Many of these UFOs are triangular and move in ways that seem to defy physics, showing flight abilities far beyond any known technology. They change direction and speed quickly, leaving observers amazed. The sunlight reflecting off these objects makes their shapes and movements very clear. But there's more to this story. Astronauts on the International Space Station have described seeing these UFOs in detail. They say the objects maintain precise formations and sometimes change their flight paths abruptly, almost like they're performing a dance in space. These reports from trained astronauts make the sightings more credible and important. What if these unidentified objects are actually visitors from another civilization, observing us from afar? Could this explain their advanced maneuvering capabilities? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.